This guy. I am challenging myself to make a video a day for the next 365 days. This is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. You're going to witness my trials and my tribulations, my victories, and perhaps my stupidity. But one thing is for sure, I promise that I'm going to give you the real me, no matter what. I'm doing this to encourage you with the courage to live your own life. A life of your own perfect imperfection. My name is Yahaya Baroa and this is my imperfect life. Like this. Hey, what's up, guys? This is a full fur hat, all right? Like, I would not wear a dead animal on my head. That sounds so wrong and weird at the same time. I am a conscious individual, whatever. Anyways, I digress. This is your boy, Yahaya Barua. Today is day 117 of hashtag my imperfect life. In today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I call this Yahaya's moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. I wish I knew how to edit that in. That, that, that actually would be really cool for effect. But anyways, use your imagination. It's gonna be more than a moment. I had nothing better to call it, so there you go, deal with it. I wanna show you guys what I have been contemplating all day. I had a book signing in uh, Peter Road chapters and you know, part of my signing, you know, allows me the opportunity to really contemplate a lot of things, things that I've learned, you know, experiences that I've had with people. And I've realized, I've come to the conclusion that, you know, I've come to the conscious conclusion that there's certain things that really are holding me back from, you know, taking off and really reaching my goals faster. I am going to actively and consciously you know with a lot of effort really manage the following emotions um managing the emotion of jealousy of um, envy hatred managing the act of comparing oneself to another i find that a lot of this are something that affect me in one way or another and i don't mean this overwhelmingly take over and control my life, my way of being and stuff. But we all have that moment of jealousy. We have that moment of envy and, you know, we have the moments where we start to compare ourselves. You know, and mind you, all of this are something that affects all of us in a big way or in a small way. And all of us manage it to, you know, a certain degree. And my goal here is to manage it to um, a full degree that it no longer has any significant effect on me and even if it does have an effect on me it's something that lasts a very short period of time all of this is something that i've actually realized have been holding me back because i'm a human being of course but like in one form or the other i find that these emotions when they come up at the wrong time they will act to slow you down they can act to really mess up your day my point is this I am choosing right now, right this very moment, um, I'm choosing to let this go, you know, in every way, shape or form. I mean, the, these emotions are natural. A lot of it, you know, are part of our de defense mechanism. They help us survive and thrive because, you know, for example, that <laughs> a slight jealous aspect of things really help you to work harder and do better. But it also has a negative aspect because it also makes you um, a little bit more leaning towards the not so nice part of being human 
because you're not you tend not to be supportive when you're jealous and you tend not to look out for the best interest of your fellow man or woman or woman or man the biggest thing to be honest that i've had to battle with and still battle with sometimes up until today now that i'm making the conscious decision to really let that go is the comparison factor man you know i don't know if you guys can relate i look at my result and I start to gauge my results against the results of other people and out of that I start to feel terrible because oftentimes my results don't really match up with other people. Every time I do that, I feel like crap. I've come to the conscious decision that I'm letting that go. It doesn't help me in any way, shape or form. So from now on, anytime I see somebody that's better than me, quote unquote, better than me, and I say better because Everybody has their own path. Everybody's walking and running their own race. There's no way somebody's better than you. Like, everybody is good in their own unique self. I mean, you're stronger in other areas than other people are, and they are stronger than you in other areas. And coming together makes magic. Why do you need to be better than anybody? And, yeah, so that's the biggest thing I wanna, I'm choosing right now to let go and just see somebody else and look at their success, admire them, respect them, and say, God bless you and your success. And I wish you much, much more as I wish for myself. And yeah, that's all I got to say. And I hope I made sense. I'm not sure if my video was very coherent, but my point is this. Capture areas in which you need to improve on, choose to improve on them, and just move on with your life. I never want to compare myself in any way, shape, or form to anybody. I never want to be jealous, even in the slightest of way. I never want to be envious, and I know I never, ever want to be afraid of anybody. We're all human beings. Shoot. You got a mama? I got a mama. I don't know. You get the point. Anyways, this is Yahaya Barua, and the moment of truth. Thank you for watching my video. Go to my website, strugglesofthedreamer.com to purchase your signed copy of my novel and I will mail the book out to you. Remember, holidays are coming up and if you're looking for gift ideas, do I need to tell you? Do I need to remind you that Struggles of the Dreamer is the book for you? Okay, bye. Ooh, mm, mm, this guy. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I gotta call my mom. She's calling me and she interrupted my video earlier.